Hello everyone. In the previous sessions, we should observe some important points. Those are replacing slip ring induction motor with the squirrel gauge induction motor. Rotor speed is slightly increases. This is the one thing. So just to replace slip ring induction motor with the squirrel gauge induction motor. Then rotor speed means NR will be slightly increases. This is the one of the point. Second, with increase in input voltage, both starting torque and maximum torque will be increases. So generally, you know, in case of slip ring or, or a squirrel gauge, anything, in case of both, both the cases, both for squirrel gauge induction motor and slip ring induction motor, both the cases. So with the increasing the input voltage, if you are increasing the input voltage, then two things starting torque and the maximum torques both will be increases. Both will be increases. Next, with the increase in rotor resistance, only starting torque will be increases. No change in the maximum torque. Maximum torque. You know because the starting torque will depends on the resistance. But maximum torque have this doesn't have any relation with the doesn't have any relation with the rotor resistance. Rotor resistance. These are the three important points. First point is again replacing slip ring induction motor with the squirrel gauge induction motor, the rotor speed slightly increases. Second point by increasing the supply voltage, starting torque as well as maximum torque both will be increases. Next point. By increasing the rotor resistance, starting torque will be increases and there is no change in the maximum torque. Next, maximum mechanical power develop. We should find out the condition for the maximum mechanical power develop. Here, in order to get this, just once again, we will draw the rotor equivalent circuit. The rotor equivalent circuit equal, it has the rotor has the rotor resistance and it has the rotor resistance that is x to naught with the rotor have the rotor series resistance r2 and rotor has the mechanical load is replaced by with some resistance the resistance is we can write r2 into 1 by s minus 1 and we are giving the input supply Induced EMF in the rotor is E to naught. Induced EMF in the rotor is E to naught. Okay. So what is the general grass mechanical power developed? The output power is nothing but grass mechanical power developed. This is the current flow in the rotor circuit is the E to. So we can write general formula by using the rotor equivalent circuit grass mechanical power developed equal. This is the three phase three I two square and R2 into 1 by S minus 1 1 by S minus 1 so generally this is nothing but the output the output side this is the output side okay yeah we have a condition to transfer the power from input side to output side it should in order to become this is a maximum power the road the load resistance will be equal to the source resistance load resistance will be equal to the source system just look at here this is the load resistance this is the load resistance just the combination is the source resistance or source impedance source impedance load impedance will be equal to the source impedance so just write to transfer to transfer maximum power from source to load source is e to naught and the load is this is the load the condition is here the condition is input impedance or source impedance will be sorry load impedance will be equal to the source impedance so just replace that 
what is the load impedance load impedance is r2 into 1 by s minus 1 what is the source impedance combination of these two things the combination is r2 square plus x2 naught square x2 naught square just modifying this r2 by s minus r2 equal r2 square plus x2 naught square plus x2 naught square and we can we can name it as slip at maximum power so finally we can write the r2 by slip at maximum mechanical power developed equal to r2 plus r2 square plus x2 naught square so from this slip at maximum power developed is smm will be equal to the r2 by r2 plus under root of r2 square plus x2 naught square this is the slip at maximum mechanical power developed slip at the maximum mechanical power developed okay this is one of the important equation this is one of the important equation a simple thing just write the just draw the rotor equivalent circuit from that source uh, just take it as consider as the source impedance and the load impedance the tight itself it is the maximum mechanical power developed to transfer the maximum power from source to load this is the condition just use the condition you will get slip at maximum mechanical power developed equal r2 by r2 plus r2 square plus x2 naught square okay next next is the torque slip characteristics torque slip characteristics how the torque is varies with respect to the slip we have to discuss here so general approximate torque equation you know that k into slip times of e2 naught square r2 by r2 square plus s x2 naught square s x2 naught square this is the general torque equation we have torque and slip is there okay yeah in order to get the torque slip characteristics we can divide into three parts the first part is low slip region the first part is the low slip region and second is high slip sorry medium slip region medium slip region and third condition is high slip region third condition is the high slip region so we have the three regions are available for each and every region the top slip characteristics will be varied so first is low slip region consider the low slip region so in this low slip region just observe here low slip region means slip value low slip value is low whenever slip value is low this part s x to naught square will be low so s x to naught square will be s x to naught square will be very very low compared with the resistance r to square so i will write this condition in this equation the torque relation is k into slip into e2 square into r2 by we have the r2 square this r2 r2 will be cancelled the final is you can write here torque equal k into slip times e2 naught square by r2 our requirement is torque and slip the relation between the torque and slip so we can write the relation is just observe the both the relations the relation is torque is proportional to the slip torque is proportional to the slip that means torque linearly varied with the slip torque 
linearly varies with the slip varies with the slip so this is the first conditions and remaining two conditions we will discuss in the next session so this is about the torque slip characteristics in the low slip region we observed that torque and slip are both are the in the linear condition so this is about the some important note note points and maximum mechanical power developed condition and torque slip characteristics in the low slip region i hope all of you understand this session thank you